Don't play. Yo. Yo, Envy on the phone. Yo, Envy. Play with that, bro. What's up, man? How's everything with you? I'm blessed beyond belief, man. Everything is good, man. Why you talking crazy, man? Talk crazy about who? About me, my brother. I, what I had to do with anything, man, and, and, and my wife posting a GoFundMe, man. What that? My, my, my baby was sick, man. It was She had a heart defect, my brother. Why? Why? Why has nothing to do with cars? You know I slapped the no, shit no, no, out no, you, I boy. I wasn't talking about your baby. No, nah, you was. Envy, I slapped it. Envy, for real. Yeah. I, you, Envy, for real. You know I slapped the shit out of you, right? For that. You yeah, know that, no, right? We ain't doing all that. No, 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 no. I'm no, no, no. I want to be clear. I want to be clear here. You know I would slap the shit out of you about that, right? And then we could fight, but that's not the reason I'm saying that. See, nah, it ain't going to be a fight. It ain't going to be a fight. Nah, it ain't going to be a fight. Envy, it ain't going to be a fight, dog. If I wanted to disrespect, I wasn't trying to But you did. But you did. Why you let, why, why'd you bring me into that? I wasn't talking about Why did you bring me into that, Envy? And so I'll be wrong. So I'll be wrong if I if I'll be wrong to handle my business then, right? But what's your business? I'm, I'm having a conversation with you. If you feel like you I disrespected you, I'm talking to you like a man. I'm like, nah, we're never. Right. And if you feel I did, I apologize. That wasn't my intention. Well, I need a public but apology because that my, my wife, man, my wife, my wife, my wife is my wife is affected by that, my my brother. We sat in that hospital for twenty for twenty eight days, homie. That shit was some real shit. That shit had nothing. It ain't even about the money. You know what I'm saying? My wife is in panic mode. My wife put that up, and this is what it is. And that's how she felt that she that she wanted to. She was in panic mode. I told her to chill, but it's cool. We did a GoFundMe. That ain't nothing, my brother. So don't 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 bring my child into this, my nah, nigga. Because then we gonna, we gonna we gonna do we gonna be having bad blood, dog. And if you felt that way, I apologize. That's wasn't what wasn't what I was trying to do. And I fuck with you. So you that's what I'm that saying. Right? That, that's what, I apologize. Thank you, my brother. All right, so that is gunplay threatening to slap DJ Envy after DJ Envy brings up gunplay's situation with his daughter. Now, apparently, gunplay um, had a situation with his daughter. His wife jumped the gun and made a gun, uh, made a um, GoFundMe over it, which of course put the whole internet into the business. And for whatever reason, DJ Envy allegedly had to bring that up while, of course, beefing with Rick Ross. Now, if you guys don't know, DJ Envy and Rick Ross have been beefing, and it originally started over a car show. But it seems now that this beef has really gotten serious, as both of them have really taken jabs at each other. With for me, I felt like it really turned left when uh, Rick Ross brought up DJ Envy's wife and then made the pickleball reference, talking about he need a pickleball uh, racket waxer, and then he was making like a little smacking ass gesture. But regardless, man, like I've said before, this is something that I definitely don't feel like DJ Envy wants to go down. You know, I'm not saying that DJ Envy is a bitch or anything like that, but when you are messing with somebody that has literally like went toe to toe with Fifty Cent. If you can beef with 50 Cent and make it out of it, you can pretty much beef with anybody. And then that means that these people have no qualms about going after kids, wives, dolls, grandmothers, aunts and uncles, or what have you. Where DJ Envy has a little bit more of a moral code where he kind of tries to keep kids and stuff out of it. And so I would personally just find some type of way to squash this beef before it gets too too serious as Charlemagne has tried several times during their show to tell him to let it go DJ Envy is, is just adamant about keeping it going because he swears that he is the petty king but at the end of the day man I just don't think that DJ Envy really wants that smoke because at the end of the day even if you might feel that Rick Ross isn't who he say he is gunplay and a lot of the people that do hang around Rick Ross are definitely about that life and if he thinks for one second gunplay won't come up there and actually slap him He's got another thing coming, man. But either way, man, I hope this beef uh, ends soon because it's really not worth it.